Hey guys, my name's Lainey and I go by Lainey Fire on the internet and welcome to or back to my YouTube channel. So today we are making a sim in grayscale. So I have my color filters right here and when you turn them on, it makes everything gray. So yeah, we'll take that off the screen and let's get started. So first off, I want to take everything off just so we can have our base. Okay, we have our base, and I'm also going to change her skin tone to one of my these skin tones. I know these are in-game, but I'm just gonna- these are alien- like muted alien skin tones. I really want to go for one of these. These are like pretty bright colors, and I don't know which one I want to go for. Maybe I'll go for this one. And I don't know what eye color she has. I know that's black, and I know this is red and purple, but I'm not sure what else. Or I know it's like brown, green, blue, I don't know. It doesn't really matter because I'm going to be putting contacts on her, so I guess I'll just go for that color. Now I also have to make her face too. Maybe these eyes? I always go for those eyes though. I need more eye presets. And then a nose. I like bigger noses, like this kind of nose, make it a little bigger, like that, or maybe one of these, kind of like this one. And then I've also been going for smaller lips too, like that. She literally looks the same. <laughs> I am going to give her a different head shape though, maybe that one. She looks the same, other than the fact that she probably has orange skin or something. And I'm also going to go for a different eyebrow than the Maxis Match ones because this is black and then these are funky colors. But I also don't want it to be... I just want more room for error, basically. I just got the Ultimate Collection from Praline, their eyebrows, and I love them. I kind of want to do a Praline eyebrow. Maybe these? I think I'm gonna go for one of the light- maybe that shade. Make them more straight. Like that. Like boxy eyebrows. I like them. I'm also gonna move her face up a little too. Like that. And then lower them. She's looking cute so far. I mean, I can tell she's cute. I mean, the skin details will definitely give her more- you guys know. I'm just- she's just a good base for the skin details, I think. She doesn't look like it, but I can tell. Maybe I should do eyes now, just to get that over with. What eyes look good on her? These kind of look good, but they look a little realistic. And it's not that I don't like realistic eyes, I just like kind of realistic eyes. I know these are like crazy colors, so I'm gonna go for this light one. I like that. I'm also gonna give her some teeth. I have default teeth. That's what it is. <laughs> okay, finally we're going into skin details. So what are we gonna use? That one looks nice, but I kind of want more of a drastic change. I mean, that one's cute too. That one's also cute. That one's nice. Ooh, I kind of like that one on her actually. But then we could go for- no, we're gonna go for this one. And then skip. She looks so cute and innocent and I- I haven't been making cute or innocent sims lately. I've been making a lot of guys and toddlers. <laughs> I've been practicing making guys. I made Hugo. I didn't download him off the gallery and I'm proud of myself because of that. And yeah. If you don't know, Hugo is my- Island challenge, main character. Maybe some s Oh no, it took those off. Yeah, I think I used- It's hard to tell what you've used and what you haven't used yet. What have I used and <laughs> what have I not used? I can't- I can't seem to find it. I think I used that, yeah. I guess you can see that it has a gray outline. And then- Oh, that- got rid of that. Oh well. I guess we can put it here. I've been giving everyone eye bags since I found those 
And I think they look really nice and cute on people. And we could also go for that. It looks kind of nice on her. I just hope it doesn't look too weird when I take off the, the gray filter. Maybe that? Yeah. And I think we're done with skin details. I think she's looking really adorable. Like, not pretty. Or, I mean, she is pretty. But she's looking really cute. I kind of want to play off of the cute. So maybe we'll give her, like, a cute outfit, maybe? I think I'm going to go for that one. We'll go for some hair now. I don't... It's pretty obvious this is brown, but I don't know what these colors are. I know that might be purple, but I'm not really sure. But we'll just kind of go with the flow. I kind of want to go for a hair that has double because or like an ombre or I also have in hats in in see I also have some ombres too so we can go for like an ombre as well and some of them have different like this one's half and half and that ponytail has these colors yeah anyway <laughs> I think I'm gonna go for this hair I really like that hair and I know where it is. It's a, it's this one, I think. I can't tell if it looks good on her or not. I feel like she needs a different hair. Maybe this one for now. I'm probably going to change. No, I'm changing it. Maybe we'll do a feral poodle's hair. If you don't know who that is, they're on the Sims resource. And they have a lot of colors that you can choose from. Basically meaning a lot of room for error, so... Oh, that one's pretty. I used- when I played Not So Berry on my own, they have a peach swatch, and I used her hair a lot for peach gen. So I might go for this hair, but in maybe a lighter color? I kind of like that color on her, but... Oh, wait, that one. That one looks pretty on her. And then... Maybe some lips. I love these poison love lips so much. They always look good on people. She's turning into a little soft girl and I love it. She's probably not a soft girl. She's probably pretty mismatched but because she obviously has colorful skin. So... Oh that one's nice. So basically she looks cool now but she's gonna look crazy in a minute and then I think I'm also going to fix her too not completely change her just fix her enough just oh that's too much I really want to keep her looking cute she's looking adorable I love her maybe should she have glasses I don't know I'm just getting gl the glasses vibe from her Maybe she gets some circle glasses in like a, uh, without a ring, maybe like that. I don't know if I'm feeling it or not. Maybe we'll go for these for now. And then maybe we can, I know Clumsy Alien has some this kind of clothes. So maybe, and I know these have some crazy colors too. I don't know why I'm setting myself up for failure, but it's fun that way. <laughs> so maybe we'll go for that with some... I'm trying to... F oh, those pants. Lots of room for failure with these pants. They kind of look good. It's like a pattern. It's kind of mismatched as well. But I think I am going to go for more... Maybe these pants? In a random color. I know these come in random colors too. Are like crazy colors too so that is also room for failure so maybe this and one more we almost are done we just need her shoes maybe no how about these i know these also come in crazy colors and then they also have socks clumsy alien where are you Hopefully I have them. Yeah, here they are. Oh, that's cute! Time to pick a random sock. Okay. Maybe we'll go for... 
something like that so it's more or we'll just go for the these so maybe that color okay so i think she's done what's your name one two three anika one two three knox anika knox maybe she's knox's daughter wait knox is his first name <laughs> and what are your traits um I'm just gonna, I don't know, I always make my sims aspiration that just when I'm not playing with them, that's just the default aspiration for me. Okay, so Anika Knox, hopefully I'm saying that right. She is done, I love her. And now it's time for us to put the color filter on. I'm gonna cover her up and in three, two, one, Oh, that hurts my eyes a lot. <laughs> okay, three, two, one again. Oh no, Anika! Girly! Oh, <laughs> what did I do? Oh no. <laughs> what did I do? Okay, I'm gonna save her and add another one to her. How am I gonna make a thumbnail? Can someone please explain this to me? But yeah, this is Anika. We love, we know and love her. So we are going to not strip everything, but I think I'm gonna edit her a little bit. I like, I like her hair and pretty much everything, but maybe I'll make it blue. No, that's too blue. Maybe like a darker blue like that. And then change her eyebrows. Oh, these are the Maxis Match eyebrows. I didn't realize that. I mean, it says Maxis Match right there, but I didn't realize it. I like those. Maybe we'll make those blue as well. Okay, that looks a lot better. And I'll change her makeup too. I do like this on her. Maybe that. She seems like an occult sim in a way, so maybe I might go off of that. I have these eyes I really like. I'm gonna keep her glasses too. I think they're cute. Oh, she has blue eyes. I got them right. <laughs> Both of them have blue eyes. So I have these one eyes I really like. Where are you? Right here. So they're kind of like... Oh, that looks really good on her actually. Maybe she's an alien, but in her human form, and she's trying to blend in, but her eyes kind of give it away in a way. And I know I can't really do this, but I can change the color. Thank gosh for that update when making occult sims. Oh, that's cute. Look. It gives her little anime blush but whenever it's on a human that doesn't have like crazy colors you can't really see it and it makes me sad plus you also can't really see you can't change the for gopal's me they don't really use sliders for some reason it's fine i'll live maybe that i say maybe a lot i'm so sorry and then we'll keep that <laughs> I just realized whenever I talked about, you know, maybe her eyes give it away. I mean, maybe her skin color gives it away too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this challenge is really fun. I really recommend it if you guys have nothing else to do or are you bored with The Sims. Oh, that's pretty. I never used this. Oh, I really like that. I'm gonna go for that. I know it's crazy colors, but she's a pretty crazy girl. So I think it kind of suits her. I mean, we can pass it off as she's an alien, but she doesn't know how to dress human-like. Because don't the aliens use that full body thing that looks like, for example, they- Oh, oh, oh. They use this full body thing. They use this thing all the time. So maybe she- it's like her first time actually dressing in something other than that. So she's- she's just learning human stuff. You can go for like an open mouth. I kind of like that. Or maybe a darker blue though. Oh, she's pretty. 
It really sucks that it wasn't great from the start. And I think I might just keep this. But... Or maybe not. Actually... Maybe she's monochromatic. I love her. Maybe if I do like a challenge with an alien someday, I might use her. I mean, she'll have to be an alien first, but... I should have made this challenge made her be an alien. Uh, I can't find a pant pants that I like for her. Maybe these? I kind of like these. It's sad that I can't keep her socks though. And I might... If they have a different color of blue, they do not. I was gonna say I would keep them, but they kind of look too close to her skin tone for my liking. Maybe these boots better. And lastly, I might give her some fingernails too. So yeah, I think she's done. I really like how she turned out. Actually, I changed my mind about the makeup on top. Or her. Pretty. I will use that someday, but today is not the day. There we go. I think she's looking really cute. I love her. So yeah, Anika Knox. Not to be confused with Knox. So here's Anika before. She was cute, but yeah. <laughs> And here's Anika now. I will do before and afters like what I usually do so you don't need to worry about not being able to see it that well. But yeah, so I really wish I gave her more of like a extravagant look. But I've already recorded for like a half hour so I don't really want to record an hour long video. But yeah, so there we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.